on no playoff quarterback. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> no, I, I, I echo everything you're saying. You know, one thing yeah. with, with Jared Goff um, the, or the offensive line, they're number three, right. three number yeah. one being the best in sack percentage. Yeah. They, I mean, they're just a, this is a really, really well-coached offensive line. Hank Fraley does a great job. I talk about him all the time because yeah. I'm just super impressed. Giving up 22 sacks on the year. Jared Goff is not a mobile quarterback. So when you say you yeah. only gave up 22, it's like it's you only gave up 22, not that you gave up 22, right? Mm -hmm. let's, take, let's take a quick peek at these guys. Offensively, and DeAndre Smith, Swift. They use a fullback. So here we go. <laughs> you see, they just they got guys Ooh. that can move, that can road grade, and this That's is Jamal. I mean this is Jamal Williams, man. That's Jamal right Jamal. there. Yeah. So, so we just talked about it. You move your defensive lineman because you can't you can't hold up. But if you're a well coached offensive line, you see Panay Sewell here, the right tackle, first round pick. Yeah. He's going to double team initially with this right guard sees the slant and comes back and secures the defensive end, which allows that bam right there secures that defensive end. Instead of getting washed now with him getting washed down, he secures that play and allows that tight end to rise up for the linebacker. Get on that linebacker right here yeah. springs yep. the play. Right. Yep. And we, and you just go like, you'll never see that. And it's super easy. To, like it's, hey. it sounds simple, but you got to remember, it's like 100, 300 pound guy trying to knock over another 300 pound guy. Like you're building up this momentum. You got to have great technique, great footwork, but you also have yeah. to have a lot of awareness and great communication on that offensive line. Yeah. You know, and that's yeah, 30 going. How huh? do you think? Yeah. He, you think he's using that for uh, respect that for you? Uh, hey, it would be nice. You yeah, know, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Yeah. They got, they got a great off. Uh, they got a, both Tyler Decker and Panay are both really athletic guys. You yeah. see both of them on the move here along with the tight end. We got two down blocks. One thing I appreciate about the Lions, as as well as the Green Bay Packers, we don't talk about it enough, uh, the wide receivers love to block. They take a lot of pride in what they do. Yes, yeah, they, they know the work. They know what they got to do to help out. We got the down, down around here. Tight end blocks out. Decker leads up. Easy cut for a touchdown. They just like they have talent. They 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 have technique. You see the double team here. I highlight the uh, I, I think this is Evan Brown and, and Panay on the three technique versus Chicago Bears. And look, the Bears don't this isn't the best three technique you're gonna see all week, all year. This isn't Kenny Clark, but look at the movement that they're they can get and the difference it makes in this play. I mean, if you see that, AG, it's oh like oh my god. You know, That's imagine flip it on the other side. Like, what does a linebacker do, bro? He's like, Oh my god, there's like a tidal wave coming at me. Yeah, he gets destroyed. That was you and KB, or you and uh, Tausch coming down on a, a linebacker or your three technique. Seeing that movement, seeing guys three yards ahead of me when I'm still three yards to the line of scrimmage, then Dude. okay, I'm, I'm looking downfield. I'm looking at that safety to the right. Like, okay, I'm either run him over or I'm gonna run right past him. One of the two. I could think about that because the offensive line did your job. Y'all did y'all job. What I, I will appreciate about this is I'm not saying Brown is in here button up on number nine, their safety. Right, just gets yep. the, not a great job. It gets the job done enough. Because listen, all you have to do, like how you if you get your feet in front of the guy and you get your mm -hmm. body in front of the guy, it the rest of it is it is important. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to minimize it, but like if you get in front of the guy with a, with an explosive running back like yourself, yeah, show's job over. Done. Yeah, yeah job, job done. done, man. You, you can fall like he's on the ground right there, but but his guy's twenty yards downfield, easy. Yeah, yeah. I used to say a lot to the receivers and uh, every now you know to you as well. I say just get in his way. I'm like, even if you don't block him, get That's, in his way. When you said it to me, you were pleading. You're like, please just get in his way, would you? <laughs> no, I never pleaded. I know that. <laughs> the, the one funny time we're playing in that Oakland game where, you know, Brett lost his dad. Yeah. You, it was at the comment at halftime. And you, you come up to me, you're like, AG, I, I don't know where the fuck you're getting these yards from right now because we ain't blocking nobody. <laughs> I was like, Mike, I figured it out. I was like, don't worry about it. Just I got go, it. Yeah, just go where just go where we're not or something. Yeah. Right? I don't you know. You said something like that. I was just like, I got you. I said, I'm, no I'm not sure. I, I I don't I don't remember it very could uh, very uh, it very well could have been me, but uh, I do remember I remember a, a couple of very specific plays in that game going like I'm spinning around like I'm like out doing waggles and like where's the ball? Like what is going on exactly right now? Like I'm on the wrong no, side. It was of the you. Field. It was no, you at halftime. I remember I'm that conversation. You, it was a quick conversation. It just had me laughing. I was like, I got you, no problem. I'll I'll make the adjustments. I'll make the adjustments. We mm -hmm. got it. We got a uh, player circled up top. Let's like I said, they've got guys everywhere that can make plays. Yeah. And if you're gonna Clark? leave them one on one coverage, the the point I'm making mm -hmm. here is Jared Goff can make every throw, bro. Like look at this window throw. Like are you kidding me? 
He made that throw in that window. That's that that is that's absolutely nice. phenomenal. Yeah, that's Clark right? Jr. That's not that's not an average throw. That's a big time throw. Yeah. Or chart, or so excuse me, chart, chart, S C H A R T A R K, chart, shark. We see our, our man up up at the top here running the Oof. deep crosser and like Amaros St. Brown. He's got uh, 1112, uh, 1112 yards this year, six touchdowns. He's he's mm-hmm. their he's their top dog. This dude, I can't remember if he made the Pro Bowl or not. This guy, I one believe thing, he did. I believe he did. He reminds me of Randall Cobb when he was young. Like he's just tough. Yeah, like he, he's just one of those guys. He can make every play. You see this? He's got the deep crosser. Safety's coming down to light him up, right? Mm-hmm. And just not only makes the play, stays up. Can't even get him down, dude. Like that. He's just a tough guy. He makes those kind of plays. He can take the top off, yep. right? He's not a complete burner, but he can beat you one on one. But he can run every route. He's got great hands, and he's tough after the catch. Yep. He uh, underestimated a lot, and you can see it in his gameplay. <clears throat> you see the under center play action pass, and they move the Good pocket, shot. so they change the lo- launch point for Jared Goff. But you see here, <laughs> great, great anticipation by Goff. Now we talked about how difficult it is to post snap communicate, right? Mm-hmm. Well, so the Carolina Panthers switched this off. So you got the in cut at the top of the at the top of the screen, and that corner just is like, I'm going to fade off, and we're going to drive on that with the safety, but the corner's facing the wrong direction. So even though that arrow is pointed to the right, like he can't catch up. And mm-hmm. Goff has the arm strength to put this ball 60 yards downfield wow. and lead him on a play across the other side. of. I mean, that's a big time throw, a big time catch. That's just a big time play. That's an amazing throw. And it was almost like I think the receiver kind of panicked and jumped for it. He could if he would have stayed running, he could have caught that in stride. I just love the way that the Detroit Lions are creating launch points that are not right behind the center all the time for, for Jared Goff. So you just never know how to rush it. They run, you see, they pull the guard here mm-hmm. on the, on the under center play action pass, but then dude, this is, this is an absolute rocket right here from a, you know, it's, I think originally the second pick in the draft his year, right? Yep. I mean, that's a rocket, man. Great throw. Great catch. You see the safety so far back. This is just a traditional cover two look and, yeah, for fans out there, like when you talk to quarterbacks and receivers about cover two and you're the outside receiver, you got an outside release on on the the cornerback. He's gonna he's gonna come off and now play the flat route. So he's gonna play that slot receiver is gonna come out over the 20, 25 yard line. And that little space of 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 uh light here on the 30 to the 35 or the 25 to the 32, excuse me, is just where that cover two safety can't quite get to. And if you've got mm-hmm. a quarterback that's got massive arm strength and arm talent. Those are just big plays in passing games. And, and again, like Goff's just making these plays in maybe years past he didn't necessarily make. Yeah, he's uh, getting set up. Uh, offensive coordinator is giving him plays. And like you said, like resetting the pocket, you got to do that with a traditional you know, drop back passer that is not great with his legs. You got to give him opportunity in different ways. And that's what they've done.